Hey everyone, welcome back to Crown Geek. In this video, I will be explaining that how to fix Valorant not launching or not starting problem on Windows 10 and Windows 11. So right now, I am on my Windows 10 and if I double click on Valorant game, it asks me for the permission because I have set Valorant to open as an administrator. So I click yes and it goes away and it doesn't come up. The same happened with the Riot client as well. So how you need to fix this problem? The first thing that you have to do, right click on your Windows icon, choose Task Manager. Now here you have to look for Valorant or Riot client. And if there is any op file open by the name Valorant or Riot, then you have to close it from here. Next, you have to look for the Valorant icon, right click on it, choose Open File Location. Now here you will go to the Riot client services. Now from the top address box, you have to click on Riot Games. Then you will find Valorant folder, double click on it. Then click on Live. Then on Shooter Game. Then on Binaries. Then on Win64. And here you need to scroll down and you will find Valorant Win64 Shipping. Right click on it and choose Properties. The Properties box will be up here from the top in menu. Click on Compatibility. And here you have to check the box of Disable Full Screen Optimization. Then click Apply and then click on OK. Then you have to click on your search box, type Services. From the suggestion, choose Services app. Now here you have to look for a service called VGC. So click anywhere and then press the V key and you will come directly to the VGC. Now double click on it. Now here make sure the startup type has been set to automatic. If not, then you have to choose automatic and make sure the service status is running. And if it's already running, then you have to click on stop. Then click on start again. Then click on apply and then click on OK. Now you can close it. Now click on the search box again, type MS config. And from the suggestion, choose system configuration app. Now here, click on the services tab from the top in menu. And here you will find a service called VGC again. And here just make sure that this option has been checked. The box of VGC has been checked. Alright, then click on apply and then click on OK. Now press Windows and R key to bring up the run box at the left hand corner. And here you have to type percent local app data percent again. Then hit enter. Here you have to click on Riot Games, then on Riot Client, then click on Data. Here you will find Riot Game Private Setting dot YAML. So you need to right click on it and choose Rename. And you have to rename by adding dot one after YAML. Then hit Enter, then click on Yes, and then you have to close it. Now right click on your Windows icon again, go to Device Manager. Device manager will be up here. Look for display adapter. Double click on it and this will display the adapter, the graphic driver you are using. It can be AMD, Nvidia or Intel. So right click on it and choose update driver. Then click search automatically for drivers and then click on close. Once done, you have to close it. Now again, click on the search box, type here graphic and from the suggestion, choose graphic settings. Now here you have to make sure that the Valorant game has been added to high performance. So what you have to do, right click on your Valorant game icon on your desktop. Choose open file location. Copy the path from here. Go and again click on browse. And on the top address, paste the path you copied. Hit enter. And choose Riot client services. Then click on add. And once added, you have to click on it, then click on options and choose the high performance. Now, once you are all set, again, you have to look for the Valorant game icon. Right click on it and choose properties. The properties box will be up. Click on the compatibility tab. And if the option of run this program as an administrator has been checked, then you need to uncheck this. Then click apply and then click on OK. Now you have to restart your PC and check back if the problem has been fixed. So let me quickly restart and see whether the problem is fixed or not. So now the PC has been restarted and let me click again on the Valorant game icon. And now you can see that the login screen is coming up. 
all right but in case if you still have the problem then what you have to do you need to close it click on your search icon type appwiz.cpl appwiz.cpl just hit enter and now here you have to look for the app called riot vanguard once you get it right click on it and choose uninstall then click on yes then click yes again once uninstalled close it again double click on your valorant game icon and now it will be reinstalling the game so you have to wait until the downloading has been completed and your issue will be resolved so that's all guys hopefully this complete list of solution will give you the fix of valorant game not starting or not uh, launching and if this get fixed please consider subscribing to the channel like the video and for any question let me know in the comment section